guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91. I was looking at a GameStop article, I didn't really read the article, but the title was about the cancelled Bioshock movie, right? And it got me to thinking like, when it comes to movies based on video games, some come out, they're not that good, and at least two of them, I know right now, got, get, get cancelled. And you have the Uncharted movie, which I talked about in another video, you can go watch that if you're interested to hear about that matter. But why do video game movies seem to be so hard to come out with? Now this is just my opinion, I'm not an expert at this sort of thing, but this is why I believe making video game movies are very hard to do. Let's just start with animation. Now, as most of you would know, video games for the most part are animation. And when you take a video game and try to make it into a live action, I'm really just talking about live action movies more so here, it may be difficult. Like, to use an example, Mario Brothers. Now, first of all, I am not talking about the Mario Brothers movie. No. I'm talking about, if you were to take a Mario Brothers game, let's just take the original Mario Brothers game, right? The concept from the original Nintendo Mario Brothers game, right? And try to turn it into a feature-length film. That would be kind of hard, because sure, in animation, stomping on Goombas and Koopas, I think it'd be really hard to try to make a Mario movie that's actually, that's like the original game. Like, having Mario and Luigi stomp on Goombas in live action, how would you even make the Goombas look like? How would you make the Koopas look like? Would you use real turtles and just have them stomping on real turtles? Because it just look weird to have this live action Mario stomping on Goombas and all these other type of I guess I'll call them animals. And I just don't think they really transfer well into live action. But then there are some games that don't have the same excuse, like The Legend of Zelda. I mean, that's basically just a fantasy thing, kind of similar to Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings did pretty well live action. So why wouldn't Legend of Zelda do pretty well live action? Now, I'm not saying Legend of Zelda wouldn't, but I'm saying with certain games, games that don't have that like same hurdle of going from like animation to live action, they may be harder to produce because for reasons like too much content and where would you focus on? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's just use another example. Let's use Star Wars Nice to the Old Public. Now, there's a good amount of Star Wars movies out there, so we know Star Wars works, right? But if you specifically took Star Wars and the Nice to the Old Public and tried to turn it into a two-hour film, let me ask, what would you focus on? Because you can't focus on all the stuff that that game focused on. Like, which characters would you include? Which characters would you cut? Which planets would you include? Which planets would you cut? Or which planets would you simply, like, gloss over? Because there's almost no way you'd be able to fit all that into a two-hour movie. And therein lies the problem. You would inevitably most likely cut certain parts that some of the fan base would be mad. They'd be like, let's say, let's just say you cut off the whole planet of Manon, right? You cut off that whole sequence. There'd probably be some people who would really like the Manon sequence, really like Sundry's trial and Joe Lee and stuff like that, really go, well, why wouldn't you include that? That was a pretty good part of the game. And that's the thing. When it comes to, especially those like longer games that have a lot of content, how would you really fit the content in there? Like a game like Halo, I mean, that's a sci-fi shooter. There are plenty of sci-fi movies out there. So I really think Halo, and I think they were having a movie out there, but that got canceled. So you would think Halo would probably transfer to a movie quite well. And I do actually believe that Halo would probably transfer to a movie quite well if done right. But it's still harder, I believe, than, than many people would think. Because what content would you allow there? Let's just say you did each movie based on each of the first games. Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3. Okay, Halo 1. What would you include? Like, would you focus more on Captain Key's story? Sergeant Johnson? What Chief went through there? The whole Halo ring? Pillar of Autumn? All that different type of stuff? How much of it would you cut? How much of it would you keep? And then it gets worse when you get to Halo 2. Halo 2 had 15 missions. They had some on Earth. Some in the other Halo ring. Killing the Prophet Regret. There's so much content there. What would you focus on? It, most likely you're going to be getting some people mad because their favorite segment or villain or officer or whatnot is not included in this movie. So I really just think video game movies are a lot harder to make than people may sometimes think. It's not simply taking the game and trying to compress it into a two hour film. I mean, maybe on a some level that's kind of what happens, but in the process, you have to cut a lot, I think. You have to maybe add some things even that would make it more interesting in the movie sense as opposed to the games. Because games are made in a way, they're made, they're made more so for us to enjoy them for a good while. That's why there's so much content in there. But movies, most of them are only around two hours. So you can only put so much content into a two hour film. And you, have to, you can't just flood it with content like they do with many games. 
like when you play a game, it may be fine to face a bunch of the same enemies over and over again. Like, like to use Star Wars Knights of the Republic again, it may be fun to defeat some Sith troops over and over and over and over again. But in a movie, you're only going to want to see maybe a few battles with the Sith or maybe a few of th this or a few of that because too much of it and you're going to get bored. It's a movie. It's not a game. So that's just what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's impossible and I think it has I just think it has to be done right and I think it's a lot harder than some people may think to turn video games especially those long video games that like last around 30 hours maybe for many people to complete them into feature films do I think still think it's possible yes but I just think it really has to be done right but what do you guys think why do you think that it seems so hard to make video games into movies let me know in the comments below thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may God bless you all